Hi guys, welcome back to my Brave XVS guide. Now I'm gonna review Guy from Final Fantasy 2. So let's start from his passives. Guy is a physical cover tank, so he can also deal some nice damage. That's why he gets nice for types killers, okay? 200% on plant, aquatic, demon, and human. So very nice. But the main price is his defensive stats. First, he gets 300% true double hand defense and 310% defense. So it is really easy to max his defense stats. And plus, he also get 50% physical and magic evasion. So if you want to make him into 100% dodge tank, it is really easy to do, okay? And if somehow the enemy able to bypass your evasion, you still have very high defense which can withstand enemy attack okay so very good combination but the best part is he is also has a 100% draw attack okay so usually tank have like 50% 80% so 100% is really nice you can make him into provoker and talking about provoker he can easily defense against elemental attack okay because like you can see that his element resistance is pretty decent okay so if you yeah if you deal with elemental physical attack he is really tanky okay and like runda he also has preemptive physical cover but it is only 40 to 45 percent damage mitigation so be careful about that and because he is three stars characters it is really easy to max him into x plus three so i really suggest you to do that but yes, at least make him into X plus 2 so you can use his limit burst at the start of the battle. So for abilities, for tanking abilities, the first one, cover physical tree. It is like uh, nowadays tankers, okay? He able to buff your party by 230%. Uh, not something great, but okay, I guess. And 50% damage mitigation plus 50% physical damage mitigation so very nice setup here you get but again the reason for you to use this is only for the uh, better damage mitigation for cover okay because if you really want to get uh, damage mitigation it is better to use his limit press you will see later okay so the reason for you to use this cover physical tree is for better damage mitigation cover okay because the preemptive cover only have 40 to 45 percent and he also able to provoke yes you already have 100 percent draw attack but just in case you bring two provoker and you want to make sure the enemy gonna hit you on early part of the battle you can use this rebel army shield okay and this rebel army shield also give you 75 percent damage mitigation which is really great for a tank like him okay and that's all for the tanking abilities he also able to buff your party and the first one guys big beaver so this is really important skill if you really want to take very little damage especially when you fight against beast so this one gonna be useful for dark vision or class of will where the enemy gonna use strong attack okay 99 percent unless the enemy able to bypass this this is really good ability okay and he also able to give your party win and arc resist 100 so again this is gonna be useful for dark vision not to take damage and this also able to chain with mirror of equity and it deals quite nice damage if you use this setup it deals 100 18 times after setup using defense scaling so yes i guess it's nice for chaining support if you use mirror of equity chain and you can also use him as a breaker because his normal attack break 80 percent attack and magic but really if you really want to use him as a breaker then i suggest you to use his normal limit burst right on the first turn because he able to break 87% attack and 85% magic on the first turn if you make him into X plus 2. Okay, that's why it is really important to make him into X plus 2. The damage for the normal limit burst is kind of crappy. 
But again, like you can see, the break, the damage mitigation, physical damage mitigation, they are pretty decent. But again, of course, the best part about him is the SLB. But the SLB has some problem. The damage is nice 240 times. But the first problem is it is absolute mirror of equity chain. Okay, so I can say good luck. The second problem is he doesn't have any limit brush damage buff. Sure, you probably already have one. But yes, at least most characters are able to buff their limit burst damage by 200%, okay? But he doesn't have that, okay? So you really need to bring someone who able to do that, okay? Other than those two things, I can say this limit burst is pretty good and powerful, okay? And yes, that's all for the abilities and limit burst. Now let's compare him to other free in quote physical cover tanks. There are two tanks you need to consider, okay? The first one, Beast King Crocodile and Runda. Why? Because those two are free, okay? So, Neo Vision guy is not free, but he is three star, so I can say it's kind of free, okay? So, yeah, when you compare against Beast King Crocodile, of course, Beast King Crocodile is more powerful, 300 times versus 240 times, it is obvious. Beast King Crocodile is the winner. And of course, Beast King Crocodile chain with Bolting Strike, which make him much more usable, okay, on this meta. And Beast King Crocodile able to cover all damage and has better breaks. But again, the problem is, sure, Beast King Crocodile able to tank all damage, but yeah, it's only for one turn. So depends on battle, I can say Neo Vision guy is better. And of course, Beast King Crocodile has really inferior mitigation because he only has like 50%. Okay, so better damage, but yes. And remember, Beast King Crocodile is win element. So again, in terms of damage dealing, you really cannot compare them. Okay, and against free tanker Runda, I can say that Runda is better in terms of chaining support because remember runda able to chain with triple bolting strike and it is also flexible elements so very good for runda and runda damage mitigation is simply insane 85 percent on slb and 80 percent on normal limit burst wow runda is really amazing free tank okay but again there is no one perfect Runda has inferior damage and break. Runda only able to break like 80% attack and magic. Okay, so again, yeah, I can say that guy is kind of like mix between these two. Okay, so yes, this I can say that these are trinity of free physical cover tank. Okay, so yes, I, I believe you have these three and use them according to situation. Okay. So my conclusion for Guy. So the first most important thing about Guy is his STMR. Sorry, okay, because for tanks we already have Crocodile and Runda. So really the most important thing is his STMR because yes, you need it for Furion and Ricard and himself because it gives them flat 500 attack and defense you cannot stack it okay because the description says not stackable so i suggest you to have at least two of his stmr okay prioritize that instead of making him into x plus two that's my recommendation for you but it is all up to you and remember if you want to make him into prism or fragment you need to make him into five stars first after that, go to Awaken Unit and Convert Prism or Fragments. That's how you able to make two of his STMR. Some of my subscribers kind of confused about him, so there you go. And after that, he is basically good free physical tank because yeah, you have enough to make him into X plus one, okay? So very good. And yes, he can become your good unit if you want to deal or damage and happen 
to have absolute mirror of equity chaining family on the party okay if you only need to deal or damage i don't think he is that worth okay but only use him if you fulfill those two condition or damage and mirror of equity chain because without mirror of equity chain this mirror of equity i mean his slb more likely to ruin your chaining process because mirror of equity is very fast moving unlike bolting strike and stardust ray okay so yeah very fast frame i mean okay so i can say it's kind of bad okay yeah i hate mirror of equity okay so i think that's all you need to know thank you very much for watching please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more fun fantasy brave xps guys bye bye guys